Welcome to day 16 of 37 Days of Prayer. I'm so glad you're joining me again as we wrap up the story of Elijah and we are actually introducing his successor, Elisha, into the picture. And now 2020 was some kind of year. And I feel like after everything that happened last year, the Lord has been preparing hearts for what is to come in 2021. And maybe you are somebody who has been doing the same thing for a long time. You've been in a routine or you've been in the familiar and you've been feeling a stirring in your heart that the Lord is preparing you for what is to come, for the next thing that he is moving you to do. And that's what we see happening here. We are at the end of 1 Kings chapter 19 and the beginning of chapter 20, where Elijah is introduced to Elisha. And this is what it says, starting in verse 19. He says, So Elisha or Elijah departed from the mountain and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen in front of him. And he was with the 12th. So Elijah passed by him and cast his cloak upon him. And Elisha left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Just let me say goodbye to my father and mother and I will follow you. So he returned from the following him and took the yoke of oxen and sacrificed them and boiled their flesh and gave them to everybody and they ate. Then he arose and went after Elisha and assisted him. So what we see here is the Lord had been preparing Elisha's heart for what was next. Elisha was doing what every good son was to do and he was plowing his father's field. He was probably expected to take over his father's farm, but There was something in Elisha's heart that said, there's more for me than what I'm doing right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the next thing is to come, but I know something's out there. And when Elijah passed by, Elisha knew this is my moment. I can't miss it. And I believe in 2021 that the Lord is going to be bringing moments for many of you that are your chances to run after what God is doing. And I I wanna say today that there's two things that the enemy will do when that moment comes. And he may try and discourage you and make you think, well, I'm not qualified to do that. I don't have the means, I don't have the experience, I don't have what it takes, or he may cause you to fear. What will people think of me if I quit my job to go do this thing that seems irresponsible what will people say do do I have the ability did God really tell me that I'm supposed to do that but discouragement and fear when the Lord has told you this is it run after it this is the thing I've been preparing your heart for discouragement and fear will not come from the Lord So when that moment comes, when that next thing comes, I want to encourage you, if the Lord has been preparing your heart, run after it with everything you've got. Don't miss your chance because the Lord is bringing it to you this year in 2021. Let's pray. Lord, Thank you that you have been stirring hearts. Thank you that you have been preparing us for the things to come, the things that you have for us this year. I pray against the spirit of discouragement and the spirit of fear. Lord, when those thoughts begin to to pass through people's minds who are watching this, people who you have called and whom you have been preparing, Lord, I pray that you would instantly cause them to be aware of the discouragement and the fear that only comes from their enemy that would try and keep them from accomplishing the things that you have called them to do, Lord. And I pray that when you bring those thoughts to their awareness, when you point it out and say, hey, 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 that's not from me, Lord, that they would begin to speak your word over those thoughts, that they would overcome the enemy by the power of your word, Lord. And I pray for every person watching this who has felt that stirring, Lord, that you would give them the boldness and the courage to drop everything else and to run after that thing that you've been preparing them for when the time comes, Lord. Thank you for my brothers and my sisters in Christ. 
Thank you for all that they are called to accomplish in 2021. And may it come to pass. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.